What's going on? With each new security vulnerability and each new story about corporate and government surveillance, network privacy is becoming a top concern. How can you build an inexpensive home VPN server with strong encryption? And how can you protect your home VPN from compromised passwords? Let's take a look. For today's build, we'll be using an Apple Mac Mini. We bought the base configuration Mac Mini on sale for $399 at Best Buy. We started by replacing the hard drive with a Samsung solid state disk. To disassemble the Mac Mini, we used tools and instructions from iFixit.com. Both are linked in the video description below. Replacing the hard drive was easy and took about 30 minutes. Next, we created install media on a USB stick and installed macOS. After installing macOS, we enabled trim support using the command sudo trimforce enable. After rebooting, we confirmed the trim setting using the system information utility. Our VPN server is operating in a headless configuration. We aren't using a keyboard or a monitor. The only cables attached to our Mac are power and Ethernet. We connected to our VPN server from our desktop Mac using screen sharing. We also used the set res utility to increase the screen resolution during VPN server configuration. Three applications were required from the App Store, macOS Server for $30, Xcode, and Apple Configurator 2. We configured the macOS server application to enable the VPN service. We exported the VPN configuration profile from the macOS server application and imported the profile on our MacBook Pro. Our profile modifications included changing the name, setting the server name to match our public DNS entry, and enabling the send all traffic through VPN checkbox. When importing the profile on our laptop, we simply added a username and password. Next, we configured our Red Hat internet router to pass traffic to the VPN server. Details for this step will vary depending on your internet router. To direct traffic from our external IP to our VPN server, we added IP tables rules as shown here. We tested by tethering our MacBook Pro to our iPhone and connecting to the VPN from the outside. Next, we added multi-factor authentication to protect against compromised passwords. Using the compiler from Xcode, we compiled OpenSSL and Duo Unix. To call Duo from the macOS VPN service, we configured Etsy PPP auth-up as shown here. In the free Duo web console located at duosecurity.com, we created a new Unix application. We then added the application details to Etsy Duo login underscore duo.com on our VPN server. Whenever we connect to the VPN, we receive a push notification on our iPhone and on our Apple Watch. If we don't acknowledge the push notification within 60 seconds by tapping Approve in the Duo Mobile application on our iPhone, the VPN disconnects. You can't trust anyone, like your cell phone carrier, your home ISP, or even Apple. But limiting or reducing the number of people you trust is progress. VPN software and services often require a software client. We chose macOS Server to avoid the need for a third-party VPN client. For us, using the built-in client software that already comes with macOS and with iOS is greatly preferred. As a small VPN server, the Mac Mini's performance is excellent. Top shows less than 4 gigabytes of memory being utilized, 
connections complete instantaneously, and there's no artificial limit to the number of concurrent VPN connections or to the total number of client devices. This video shows an appropriate configuration for a home network. For business use, a captive portal implementation is far more scalable. If you'd like to see a video about a captive portal multi-factor Mac VPN, please leave a comment below. Overall, we highly recommend the Mac Mini with macOS Server and Duo for a strong, Apple-native VPN solution with multi-factor authentication. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon where we'll be reviewing the Nintendo Switch Mega Bundle, cheap portable Linux servers, the Dell PowerEdge T30 server, the Eve light switch for Apple HomeKit, the Klipsch R20B soundbar, a new KB Lake Hackintosh, the 43-inch LG 43UD78B computer monitor, the Apple external GPU enclosure, and Belkin's new Thunderbolt 3 dock. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like or subscribe and leave comments below. Also, consider getting subscribed to our new music channel, Geekster Robot. And so long, until next time.